The Avengers Endgame in 3D, a 2019 release, a three-hour film, 2.39 to 1 aspect ratio, so you will get the black bars at the top and the bottom. Dolby Atmos sound, Dolby 7.1, all the Dolby sound you can even imagine here, 8.4 on uh, International Movie Database, 94% critic score on Rotten Tomatoes, 90% audience score on Rotten Tomatoes, directed by the Russo brothers. Uh, this stars Captain America, Hulk, Thor, Black Widow, Hawkeye, War Machine, Ant-Man, Doctor Strange, Captain Marvel, Spider-Man, Nebula, Gamora, Wasp, Star-Lord, everybody. Absolutely amazing film. Now, this picks up where Infinity Wars left off. There's going to be some spoilers here. I'm not going to spoil the film for you by any means at all, but there will be some spoilers here. As you know, we got left off with Infinity Wars. Um, and Thanos had destroyed half the universe population, vanished, turned to dust. And now we're sitting here with our Avengers. And, you know, the first 40 minutes of this movie, there's a little bit of pacing issues in here, in my opinion, just, just a little bit. Not boring, but it's just little pacing issues. First 40 minutes are the Avengers. It's a somber 40 minutes. It's an emotional 40 minutes. It's this sad music, their lives are in shambles, they got to think about how they can, can, can get on with their lives. And then something happens where they can go back and change everything. They have that opportunity to do that, which they didn't have it. All of a sudden it pops up, hey, we can do this. And then at right the 40 minute mark, it really picks up. And then they proceed with this plot that they have where they can go back and try to change things. And that's where this movie really, really takes off. I mean, they got to go back in time and they've got to change things, but it doesn't always go as planned. That's the good part. It doesn't go as planned. And, and you know what? Uh, Thanos was the star of Infinity Wars. In other words, that was his movie. Avengers Endgame is the Avengers movie. It's all about the Avengers. That's what it's about, okay? Let me say this about the soundtrack. It's kicking. The soundtrack is kicking. I can't believe some of the soundtracks I'm hearing that I used to play on the radio when I was young, cranking them up. Soundtrack is kicking. Absolutely excellent. The, uh, the sound score is amazing in this movie. Um, and so there's some twists in here, too. There is some twists. And you're going to get very, very emotional come the end of the movie. You're going to get... I cried, my son cried, you're going to cry, okay? You are, that's it, you're going to cry. Very emotional, very, very good movie, full action. Let's talk about the 3D now. The 3D is spectacular. The 3D is to die for. The 3D is reference quality, okay? I'm going to tell you something else about 3D. I don't know if you notice it, but you can see this, uh, this LED light I put around my my screen. I put LED light up in the side. It doesn't show up too well right now, but when the lights are out, it shows up a lot more. That LED light behind that screen changed my 3D viewing experience. It put a lock area that I could lock down my peripheral vision when I'm watching the 3D. That light in the back tells my brain where the wall is. And so I don't look at it, but when the pop-outs come and the stick-outs come, and sometimes the whole letterbox comes out. My peripheral vision sees that line and it's like, hey, there's the wall. This is this much out of the screen. It made a world of difference for me, for me. I'll put a link down, down below where you can purchase some of these LED lights. If you've got a theater screen, you want to think, I think you should put it behind it. I really do. Put it, I put it on the wall in case somebody rolls the screen up. I don't know if it'll work on a television. I know you can put them behind a television, but let me tell you what, it really helped my 3D experience. Um, so this is reference quality, okay? You're gonna get a lot of stickouts right from the very beginning. Right from the, this is Hawkeye. You know, there's a lot of Hawkeye in this movie and right from the very beginning, uh, there's a bow sticking right out. I mean, it's coming right out of the screen to, towards the end of your nose. Absolutely incredible. I knew right then and there, this was gonna be excellent 3D. Great depths, great depths, great colors. Stickouts, Hulk's shoulder sticking out of the screen. Pop-outs, things sticking out of the screen. You will get some, you'll get some ashes floating in the room. You get things floating in the room. You're not going to be doing this a lot. You're not going to get a lot of things coming at you. That's not there. That's not there like that. But it's very, very good 3D. Okay, so that's my take on this. I could ramble on and on and on. This is a fantastic movie. Absolutely incredible. Avengers Endgame. I'm going to give it five out of five stars for the movie. Five out of five stars for the 3D. Absolutely incredible. So what would you think? 
Did you see it? Did you see it 3D? Did you see it 2D? Did you see it at the theaters? Leave some comments below and let me know. Let me know about your 3D experience with this movie. I got to hear it from you. This was an incredible... And let me tell you something else about this movie. When this movie ended and I turned the lights on, I felt like I was in a movie theater. I was the first, I've, all, I've been in here three years watching movies. I, I had this movie room 14 years, but 3D movies only three years. First time in three years, when I turned the lights on, I felt like I was walking out of a movie theater. That's, that's how the movie made me feel. That's how the soundtrack made me feel. That's how good the 3D was. Absolutely incredible. All right, so leave some comments below. Let me know. Stay safe. Have a good night. And as always, God bless.